Good morning guys, this is Leron and welcome back to my channel. Right now I'm here at the Blue Mountains Cultural Center and I feel really sad and devastated seeing all those videos and photos of the eruption of Taal Volcano in Taal Batangas. I know it's a natural calamity and no one will, can stop that. Based on my understanding, volcanoes are formed by the eruptions of lava and ash when magma rises from the weak spots or cracks of the Earth's surface and when the pressure release you can see the magma or the lava or even the ashes and it's it's really bad because I saw on the news that the ashes reach Manila and some other provinces like Laguna and Cavite and I've been to the crater of the Taal volcano four years ago and to go there is really um, really difficult because it's uphill and a lot and a lot of stones but if you have a little bit of penny you can hire a tourist guide and the horse that will take you to the crater of the volcano and once you reach that place it's really amazing you can really see up close the uh, volcano itself situated within the lake lakes because it's i think yeah within the vicinity of the volcano there are two lakes and based on my re research it is the world's smallest active volcano and the last eruption was in 1977 so i feel really devastated as well because i see all those people and residents pretty close to the crater of volcano they have a massive evacuation and you can feel the anxiety their anxiety and tiredness because they don't want to leave the their properties or they don't want to leave the place but because of their security and safety they have to be evacuated and i'm hoping that the local government units will extend their help to those people who are being affected. My friends back in Tagaytay City are always keeping in touch with me and they can really see the thick ash came from the volcano and it was really horrible thing to see and they are because guys I live in Tigaira for 17 years and I still have a lot of friends back there and I feel worried as well because um, they might be affected because the ash reached Tagaytay city because it's really close. Last night they are saying that there were series of earthquakes in a matter of like 15 or 20 minutes and they're saying it's gonna be worse for the coming days it's alert level 4 status according to the field box so that's why there is a massive evacuation and um, hopefully this eruption will not will not last longer the traffic situations in nearby towns like Agoncillo, Laurel, and even in Tigayde City are really bad because people from those areas are evacuating themselves for their safety and they are going to Tagaytay City or in Cavite or their relatives living far from 
the vicinity of the eruptions. That's it for, for today and we are praying for our Kabobayans for their safety and all, always be vigilant and always keep be updated on on what's going on and we'll see you on my next video. Cheers guys! Give me reasons to doubt